In this short video, I will be giving an introduction to the new Shodan Monitor website. To get started, visit the monitor.shodan.io website, and then click on Access Portal. If you haven't yet signed in, it will ask you to log in first, and afterwards you're going to see the dashboard, which, if you haven't created any monitors yet, will be empty. So let's get started and set up a network monitor. Over here we can see how many IPs um, our current API plan lets us monitor. In this case, my account is on the freelancer plan, which lets me monitor 5,120 IPs. First, we're going to look at setting up a monitor for our San Diego data center. I'm entering the IP range using the CIDR notation, and if you have multiple IPs, you can enter them down here, line by line. For the first alert, we just want to monitor this IP range, and I'm not going to select any triggers, which will make us receive a notification whenever anything shows up in this network range. So now we can see it's been created. Let's check out the dashboard again, and right away we can see it's been populated with information about the network as Shodan sees it. Uh, down here we have a heat map. So every square is a potential IP address within this slash 24 network range. And the brighter the red, the more ports are open. For example, a light red over here only has two open ports. And this one that's very bright red has seven open ports. We can cling up, click on it and see what's running. And here we see a website, NTP, and a few other ports are not very common. So the heat map is designed to help you quickly navigate IPs or devices that are running a large number of services that will hopefully stand out. Then we have three main categories at top. The first is a raw breakdown of all the open ports. So NTP, very standard, SSH, remote access. Um, the second panel is notable ports. These are ports that we typically don't see on Shodan, meaning it's not in the top five or top 10 um, most frequently seen ports on the internet. Uh, and these are useful for quickly identifying services that are running on unusual ports, uh, and other things that you might not expect. And then vulnerabilities. These are implied based on software and version, so they have not been verified, uh, which is why you will want to take a look at them to make sure that these are actually real problems and not something you can just you know, skip. So let's go ahead and add some more networks. So this time I'm going to add two for a different range. And for this one, we know people are going to be running SSH and web servers, so I only want to get notified if something unusual shows up. All right, again, everything's successfully added. Over here, we can see it's running the uncommon trigger. And let's check out our dashboard. The first time you load the dashboard, it might take a few seconds for it to pick it up. And here we see the additional heat maps for other IP ranges. All the other information has also been updated, so the new network range is re-added. Had a lot of web servers running. This is you know, not unusual at all, so I'm not going to highlight it. Uh, over here we see that the new network ranges are running a lot of MySQL which runs on 3306. And let me add a final one, which is just the main public website. And on this one, again, anything that's uncommon. It's been added. Actually, I also want to get notified if our SSL certificate, for whatever reason, has expired. So let me edit and make a change. All right. And I wouldn't expect it in a change the dashboard very much since we only add one IP. Yeah, it's added to 443. Otherwise, we don't see anything. And since it's an individual IP, we don't generate a heat map for it. Let's go back and 
we want to cause an immediate scan of the website just to make sure that the certificate is up and running, not expired, no unusual ports. So I click this icon over here to immediately cause a rescan. So it then continuously and automatically crawls the internet and crawls these networks to make sure you always see the latest and most up-to-date information. This is usually only done if you want to you know, generate dashboards uh, or reports or, or something else based on the data and need it to be uh, as fresh as possible. And with that, we're all set up. From now on, whenever Shodan discovers anything within these network ranges, based on our criteria, we will get an email alert.